Welcome friends, in this video, let's discuss about biogeographical zones and biogeographic provinces of India. India is divided into 10 important biogeographical zones and these 10 zones are further divided into 25 biogeographical provinces. Now let's look at these things in detail. But before moving further, let's look at the species richness in India. India is considered as mega diverse country. There are 17 mega diverse countries in the world out of 190 odd countries and these 17 countries account for more than 70% of the biodiversity of the world. So they are called mega diverse. The speciality of India is that even though it accounts for only 2.4% of the land area of the world, it provides space for 7 to 8% of the species of the world. So this is highly, highly biodiverse country. Okay. And India provides home to 91,000 species of animals and 45,000 species of plants. And among these species of plants and animals, there is high level of endemism. Here endemism res refers to um, the uniqueness of a particular species to a particular region. And these species are not present in any part of the world. So out of 100 mammals, 12.6 mammals are endemic to India. And 4.5% of the bird species are endemic to India and 45% of the reptiles and 55% of the amphibians and 33% of the plant species are endemic to India and these are nowhere present in the world. So this is the level of richness of biodiversity in India. So India can be divided into biogeographically 2 realms, 5 biomes, 10 biogeographical zones and 25 biogeographical provinces. Now first let's look at the what is a realm. Here the whole earth is divided into large spatial regions within which ecosystems share a similar biota and the species, the, 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 the animal species and plant species share a similar uh, evolutionary history within these realms. So broadly earth is divided into eight biogeographical realms. These are Neartic realm, so this is the area, and Oceanic realm, Neotropical realm, Afrotropical realm, Indo-Malayan realm, Australian realm and Palearctic realm. So India shares two important realms, one is Palearctic, so this is the northern part of India and Indo-Malayan realm, that, that is the peninsular and some of the gigantic plain including the eastern, uh, eastern Himalayas and northeastern India. So India accounts for two realms, that is the Palearctic realm and Indo-Malayan realm out of eight. Okay, And India has five important biomes. These biomes are the regions, biogeographical regions which has the similar uh, plants and animal species, similar vegetation, similar temperature and uh, preci precipitation. So India is broadly divided into five important biomes. These are tropical humid forests, tropical dry or deciduous forest, warm desert, a semi deserts and coniferous forest and alpine meadows. So these are five biomes and most importantly, let's look at the biogeographical zones okay, and biogeographic provinces. So this concept was given by the classification of India into different biogeographical zones was made by Rogers and Panwar in 1988. Okay, and they divided India into 10 biogeographical zones. Okay, and these 10 zones are further divided into 25 biogeographical provinces. So they followed a certain criteria. For example, the altitude, moisture, topography, rainfall, and temperature are all taken into consideration while dividing the India into different biogeographical zones. So these zones has distinct vegetation and fauna and also they have the similar pattern of rainfall and weather and climatic conditions. So it is useful for the planners and policy makers to uh, undertake proper wildlife protection planning and conservation strategies. Okay, if we consider the biogeographical zones. So this is very essential for policy making and also for studying the geography of India as well as the plants and animal life. So let, now let's look at the 10 important biogeographical zones. Okay. The first is Trans Himalayas. This is the Trans Himalaya. And second biogeographical zone is Himalayan zone. Okay. And the third is desert zone. And fourth is semi desert zone. Okay. And the fifth is Western Ghats. Western Ghats in the peninsular area. And the sixth is Deccan Plateau. It seems the Deccan Plateau is the largest uh, zone. Okay. And Gangetic Plain is the seventh zone. And Northeastern zone is the eighth. Okay. And coastal zone, all the coastal areas are included in the ninth, ninth biogeographical zone. And the islands present near the shoreline, including Andaman Nicobar Islands and Lakshadweep, are 
the 10th biogeographical zone. So India is divided into 10 biogeographical zones. So these 10 zones are further divided into 25 biogeographical provinces. Now let's look at these things. Okay, this these 25 biogeographical provinces are the Trans Himalayan zone is further divided into two. Okay, this is the zone. It is again divided into two provinces. Okay, uh, this is Himalayan Ladakh mountain. This one and Himalayan Tibetan plateau. Okay, and the Himalayas, the, this zone is divided into three important, uh, four important um, provinces. That is northwestern Himalaya, this area, and west Himalaya, central Himalaya, and east Himalaya. So this second province zone is divided into four important provinces, and the Indian desert zone is divided into two important provinces. That is Thar Desert and Kutch Desert. Okay, and the fourth zone that is semi arid zone is divided into punjab plains okay punjab plains and gujarat rajputana province so these two okay and the fifth zone that is the western guards is divided into two important provinces that is western guards malbar plains so th this area and western guards mountains so these two and the sixth zone that is deccan peninsula this is the deccan peninsula this is further divided into five important provinces that is Deccan Peninsula Central Highlands, this is the Central Highlands, and Deccan Peninsula Chodanagpur Plateau, this one, and Deccan Peninsula Eastern Highlands, Deccan Peninsula Central Highlands, and Deccan Peninsula Deccan South. Okay, these are five uh, provinces of the Deccan Peninsula zone. Okay, and the Gangetic Plain is divided into two important provinces that is the Upper Gangetic Plain, this area that is the UP and certain parts of this and the lower Gangetic Plain includes the Bihar and the certain parts of West Bengal and Varissa. Okay, and this is the upper and lower Gangetic Plain. And the coast are divided into western coast, okay, western coast, eastern coast, and coast of Lakshadweep. So this is the three provinces of the uh, coastal zone. Okay, and northeastern India is divided into two provinces. That is, northeast Brahmaputra Valley. Okay, now this Brahmaputra Valley and northeast, northeast Brahmaputra Valley and northeastern hills. Okay, northeastern hills and islands are divided two. Okay, uh, Andaman Islands and Nicobar Islands. So totally twenty five provinces. Okay, biogeographical zones are divided into twenty five provinces. This is it about this video. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Please like us on Facebook. Link is provided below and subscribe through your email. Okay. And this link is also provided below so that it, I can interact interact with the subscribers directly through email and share notifications. Thank you. Thanks for watching.